Hey guys, welcome back. So um, today I'm going to be doing a lock retwist. It has been maybe nine months. I think this is my nine month lock update. I started in February. Uh, if I can count. Yes, it's been nine months. Okay, <laughs> um, so this is my nine month lock update. Um, I don't believe I've posted since my six month lock update, which was either in May or June. Um, I took a much needed hiatus from social media, from YouTube, from anything that wasn't going to help cultivate what I needed for me, if that makes sense. So I'm back, I'm rejuvenated, um, and I wanted to show you guys um, how my locks were looking before I did my retwist. Just so you can kind of see how they look in between retwist. Um, this is how I wear them to work. Very um, just low maintenance. Uh, sometimes I will do a little bit of a twist in the front and pin it to the side just to give me a little something. But on the daily, I usually just spray my hair with water with a little bit of lavender essential oil. And then if it's feeling a little bit dry, then I will use some coconut oil, just warm it up in my hands and disperse it through my locks. So, um, let's see. In the three to four months that I have not seen you guys, I have experienced a lot of budding, which has me so excited. Um, most of my locks have either gone through the budding stage or they are still budding. Um, most of my locks in the back are almost fully locked. I'm interested to find out why that is more so in the back and not the front. I do know that my curl pattern in the front is much looser than the back, so I'm guessing that may have something to do with it. Um, but my locks have gotten really long. Um, there is a lot of frizz. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but I'm totally fine with the frizz. I like the frizz. Um, I kind of play with it at work, like wrap it around the locks. Um, I'm really happy with them. I've been waiting for this ugly stage to happen and I haven't seen it yet and maybe that's just my perspective on my locks I don't know but I'm happy with them um, I have been a little concerned with um, them looking sort of dry I do know that um, you know once you first get your locks and you do a coil set um, a comb coil they're very shiny um, and then natural locks are drier so I'm not sure if I should be putting more than just coconut oil in my hair if you guys have any suggestions i would appreciate it if you drop them below um and if there's anything that you want to know about my locks um drop those below as well um i am wanting to dye my locks i'm not sure what color but i'm going to wait till probably my 18 month mark before i do any dyeing i want them to be completely locked um, the same with jewelry. I haven't added any shells or, you know, the little gold clamps that you can put around your locks just because I don't want to disturb my locking process whatsoever. Um, if you guys like, I can show you um, how I retwist. It's very quick, um, a lot of repetition, but it's easy. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my hair. Um, I did want to let you know what I'm wearing today. Uh, so I'm getting ready to go to work. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, and I usually don't wear much makeup to work. But since I was filming, I wanted to go ahead and put a little something on. Um, when I wear makeup to work, this is kind of my go-to look. I changed the lip up, of course. But everything else is pretty much the same. So for my primer, I use the Estee Lauder... Um, Idealist Even Skin Tone Luminator. I like using this one especially in the, in the winter because it just gives you a nice little glow. Um, so if you like more of a mattifying primer, I wouldn't recommend this one for you. This is how it looks before you rub it in and then once you rub it in it just blends right into your skin tone. Um, it gives you a nice smooth velvety feel and it smells good. So that's my primer that I usually use uh, in the winter, just to give my skin a little bit more moisture. Um, for my foundation, I apologize in advance for not knowing the number of this foundation. I have it written down somewhere and I will um, try to drop it in the description box below. 
but I went to Sephora when Fenty dropped and I wanted to try it. Um, they were sold out of most of the foundations, but they did have some testers left, so I was able to get a sample. Um, this little guy has lasted me quite some time, and he's still pretty full. Um, and that's for two reasons. One, I don't wear foundation as often. Um, I usually only do it for special occasions or if I'm going to film. Um, two, a little bit goes a long way with Fenty, and I'm really happy and pleased with it that you're able to um, have the pigment the pigment that you want the coverage is very good um, and it's at a great price point now when I say very good coverage I'm referring to a medium coverage um, it's not full coverage I don't necessarily wear full coverage unless it's a special special event like somebody's wedding other than that I usually don't wear full coverage because I like my skin to breathe um, also as I've been aging my skin has been clearing up uh, so I haven't really needed as much full coverage. So that, um, the Fenty is my go-to. I love it, love it, love it. Once I run out of my sample, I will go ahead and purchase uh, one for myself. So to set my foundation, I use the Bear Pro. Um, it is a pressed powder from Bare Minerals and I wear uh, cardamom number 23. And this is what this guy looks like. It's a mattifying primer or uh, powder. So um, it does go well with the Fenty. Uh, the Fenty is not very dewy, it just looks like skin. And this powder just kind of evens everything out. Um, I am pretty oily normally, um, so I will use this as a touch up if needed. Um, the brush I used for my liquid foundation for Fenty was this brush from Sephora. It's number 41. It's a pro dome stippling brush. I love this brush for its uh, density. Um, it just really gets a lot of product all over the face very quickly. Um, there's not much need for blending with this brush. It's my go-to when I'm in a rush. Uh, I love this guy. Um, for the powder, I use a brush by IT Cosmetics. It's the Buffing Mineral Powder Brush, number 206. Again, very dense. Um, this guy, though, you have to be careful with. Um, I don't put a lot of product on the head when I am uh, blending out. Just a little bit goes a long way because this bad boy will pack some powder. So if you're looking for a full coverage, this is your guy. All right. Now for my brows, I do have a brow video. I can put a link in this video for you. If you'd like to see that, it's called Brows on Fleek. I basically do the same thing I did two years ago or whenever I uploaded that video. Um, I use this brush by Smashbox. Um, I like it because it's a two-in-one. And then on the part that I use for my brows, it's not too thick to the point where I would have like those magic marker brows. Um, but it has like the right amount of thickness for my brows um, and I love the angle. The angle is perfect. And then this side is just your typical stippling, stippling brush. Um, I like this one just because I don't have to try to find my stippling brush. I do have a few of them that I use but this one's usually my go-to just because it's handy and easy. Um, and then to shade my brows I have changed that a little bit. Um, I think in the video I used the dip brow. Um, I use the dip brow still. Sometimes I will use eyeshadow. And recently I've been using this, um, the Brow Gal powder. Um, Convertible Brow 2 is the one that this one is. Um, and then I use the darkest shade for my brows. Um, I really like this powder. I think I like it a little bit more than... Um, the eyeshadow, because the eyeshadow is like a little, a little too orangey brown, and this one's a nice cool brown. Um, so I love this brow powder. Now to kind of give my eyebrows the shape that I want, I use this little guy. Um, this brush is so old, you guys. Like, this is my mom's brush from years ago that she gave to me when I first started doing my makeup in high school. But I still have it because I love it. It's amazing. It's very tiny. Um, he has a brother who's in my makeup kit. Um, it's made by Posh. But there's no name on the brush. But it's just a little tiny 
flat head brush that is great for shaping your brows with concealer. For my um, lower brows, I guess, or my highlight area, I use the MAC palette. This is the Pro Conceal and Correct palette in medium deep. Um, as you can see, I used to use these top two colors, but I have hit pan, so they are done. Um, I have been able to use the second row. Um, before the top row, it was, um, I would say it just gave me a little more drama. Um, this second row is more natural, which is what I'm into now. I bought this palette maybe two, three years ago. Um, I know, it's been a long time. And I still use it because it still works. Um, and then for my for the top part of my brows, I use the Bare Minerals Concealer in Dark 2. Um, I will say that the Bare Mineral Concealers don't go very deep um, on Dark 2. And then there's a Deep 2 after that. Um, but if you um, are, are a little darker, then you could use the Bare Minerals ones for the bottom part of your brow and then use maybe a MAC for the top. Um, I've also hit pan on this one, um, but that's kind of the color that it is. It's, little, it's about two shades darker than my skin. Okay. Um, when I go to work, I don't really do a... Um, a contour I don't do a bronzer um, just because it's too much um, I work in a very conservative um, industry work in the insurance industry um, and so we don't really um, meet with the public much and aren't necessarily uh, wearing too much makeup okay so for my uh, blush I use the Estee Lauder blush in number eight which is peach passion shimmer um, and this is what this guy looks like very um, natural great for work uh, and then almost last but not least my highlighter is this Bobbi Brown shimmer brick and sandstone it is amazing you can really go as dramatic as you want or you can keep it very natural like I did today um, and then finally, for my lipstick, I did a mixture of um, a Christian Dior gloss in 975, and then Christian Dior lipstick in 349. Um, and I just mixed the two together, I did the gloss first and lipstick on top, and I used this little cute brush from Smashbox uh, to blend it out. So that's my finished look. Uh, if you guys are interested in tutorials, let me know. I can do them. I've kind of moved away from tutorials as much. Um, but if you're interested or if there's anything you want to know about makeup, then just let me know. So that's pretty much it for my video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for tuning back in. Um, I think I'm back for a while. I'm not planning on taking any more hiatuses for my spiritual well-being. Um, but... Um, I'll be back with a vlog from my boyfriend and I's trip to Miami for our four-year anniversary. It was amazing. It was great. Uh, a lot of footage that I've been trying to sort through. I've never done a, a vlog before, so it's a little different <laughs> um, editing this video. But that's coming soon, as well as a couple of favorites videos uh, for makeup products and for skincare. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.